how to send whatsapp broadcast message this is one of the most popular use cases of the official whatsapp business api wherein with just one click you can send a whatsapp message to thousands and thousands of people right so you would have heard about email broadcast campaigns you would have heard about sms broadcast campaigns similarly this is whatsapp broadcast campaign okay again we are going to stick to the official whatsapp api and do things in a much more legit way i know there are so many videos out there where they use some spam softwares there are some black hat techniques where people use some softwares to scrape people's phone number and send a whatsapp broadcast unofficially please stay away from that you have to use an official whatsapp api and then send broadcast message else your phone number is at very very high risk of getting banned by whatsapp forever so without further ado let's start the show welcome to alpha marketer i am your host anthony and today we are entering episode number 17 of the conversational marketing show This is your go-to show to become a conversational marketing expert and turn those conversations into conversions. So to start with, let's understand what are the required steps. Okay. So step number one, you need to have the official WhatsApp Business API. This is simply the permission from WhatsApp itself that you, as a business, can send and receive messages from your customers or leads. Okay. So this is the right way of doing it. Now, how do you get a WhatsApp API? Now, I have done a detailed video on this topic, the step-by-step -step process as to how you can apply and get a official WhatsApp API. You can go and check that video. The link will be in the description. Very simple process, max to max. It will take two to three days for you to get your official WhatsApp API. Okay. Step number two, you will require a WhatsApp marketing software. Now. to send these bulk messages bulk whatsapp messages you will need the help of a software a, a good software so uh, which is my favorite software i prefer whaty i i'm using this software for a, for a you know couple of months now and i'm using it for my business as well as for my clients business and it's simply fantastic okay so if you are new and if you are looking for a whatsapp marketing software please do check this out use this link link.alpamarketer.in/whaty use this link to get a free trial wherein you can test drive this software and one only when you are confident you can go ahead and make a purchase full disclosure this is an affiliate link if you click on this link and get an account on whaty i might end up getting a small commission out of it at no extra cost to you kind of an encouragement for me to keep creating videos like this so please use that link the link will also be available in the description okay step number 3 you will require an approved whatsapp message okay so basically when we as a business are initiating the conversation with our customers then those messages needs to be manually verified and approved by whatsapp whatsapp is super careful about this they don't want people to misuse their platform and send unsolicited unwanted spam messages using their software okay so there is a, a step by step process to it as to how you can get your whatsapp message approved okay don't worry i will take you through the entire process and show you step by step how you can get your whatsapp message approved and you can send the broadcast okay um so last step is basically you need a contact list of leads or customers basically the people to whom you want to send the whatsapp message so if you have all these four then you can send the whatsapp broadcast easily okay so now let me take you through the whaty software interface and i'll show you exactly how to send the whatsapp broadcast message okay let's get started So now I am inside the Wati software. So once you have an account, just log in, and here you will have an op option called broadcast. Click on broadcast, and first step is we need to get a template message approved. Click on template messages. 
So first let us try to create a new template message. I'm going to click on new template message. So I'm going to say start from scratch. Um, I'm going to give a name saying uh, offer. I'm going to send out an offer coupon. Okay, I'm entering offer uh, category. Um, so you th there are so many options. Uh, so I'm going to say account update here language you can select english or whichever language is uh, appropriate in your country then you have your header section where you have an option for text media just ignore it um, and then uh, body section this is where you're gonna enter the text that you want to send to your customer list or your lead list okay so i have already crafted the message i'm just gonna paste it here so you can, you know, uh, type in whatever you want, whichever is appropriate for your business. Okay. Mention the, you know, product name that you want to, you know, communicate or uh, the, the name of the customer, all those things can be entered here. Okay. There's also an option for personalization. Now, just in case, if you want to call out the customer by their name, okay, then you can add the name personalization tag here. Okay. So all these variables are also available. If you can click on, you know, add variable, you can see all the personalization content that is available here. Click on the name button here and automatically the uh, personalization, uh, you know, uh, tag will, will automatically start appearing here. Okay. So once you have done your personalization and the content is all set, now you can select whether you want to uh, add a button or not. Okay. So this is a cool feature of uh, WhatsApp where along with the message, you can also send a clickable button. Okay. So under buttons, there are two options. One is a call to action and second is a quick reply. What is a call to action? So call to action is basically if you want people to click on a link and you know, you want to make them go to a new page okay outside of whatsapp at that time you will use call to action quick reply is basically if you want to have a button uh, which if they click it will start a new conversation with your brand okay so if you are using chatbot feature on whatsapp and if people you know select an input in the form of a button then you can uh, give a custom reply using a chatbot okay so uh, in this case, I'm going to use call to action because I want to give a link to a page where they will be uh, getting a you know coupon code and they can buy the product at a discount. So I'm going to select call to action. And once that is done, you have to mention whether it is visiting a website or click on a phone number. So I'm going to select visit website. Now here you have to enter the button text, the text that will be displayed on the button. Okay. So I can say, um, get offer. Okay. That can be the name and the URL. I can mention the URL here. Okay. And, uh, so, uh, so now you have the, uh, you know, all the information entered. Okay. Okay. So lastly, you will have the sample content. Basically, if you are using any personalization tags, okay. In this case, we have used name here, right? So here you have to give a sample of that particular personalization tag. Since I've used name, I can say, um, Anthony, that's, that's what a sample content will look like when you call out a name. Okay. So this is just for the, uh, people who are going to approve this for them to understand what this particular tag actually means. Okay. Once I've done all these things, I'm going to click on save and submit. Okay. So then it will have a message saying, do you want to submit this message for validation? This is, so this is where we are sending it for manual verification. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So it says that the approval time takes around 30 minutes to two uh, days, depending on Facebook's team's uh, availability. Okay. So generally it, within 30 minutes, you will get the thing approved. Okay. So now the, uh, you know, message has been sub, uh, submitted for approval. And once it is approved, the status will change from pending to approved like this, like this green one. Okay. So now assuming that it is approved, let me show you how to send a broadcast. Now, first step, we got the template message set up and it is approved. Okay. So now let me go to broadcast 
history and then I can click on new broadcast okay so this is where we are going to broadcast it to a huge amount of people okay so I'm going to uh, enter some name here saying offer broadcast okay it can be anything and here you can select the uh, you know template messages that have been already approved okay so I'm going to just uh, select a sample one the message that we have sent is yet to be approved okay so in that case I'm just using a, a sample one that is already approved and then here if you want you can schedule the date when you want this to be sent let's assume I want to send it one hour later okay I can go and change the time and date here okay and click on ok so at 5 25 pm this broadcast is going to be sent okay then click on next and now it will show you the contacts that are already there uh, on the wati software so you can select those people uh, those contacts and send them in one shot or you can even upload an excel sheet okay of the data so for example for specific campaigns you will have specific set of uh, contacts to whom you want to uh, send this information okay so for ease I have already created a uh, excel sheet so you can see how this excel sheet looks like so it has so you can mention the um, you know column name I have mentioned name and phone number and then you can enter the people's name here and also enter the phone numbers here okay so when you are entering phone number please ensure that you are adding the uh, country code okay on top of the existing number okay so uh, for India it is 91 so I am adding 91 followed by the customers uh, phone numbers okay so you can enter n number of uh, you know uh, name and phone number you can also add other details if you want to personalize things for further okay this is a test uh, you know list I'm just giving you for the sake of example okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this data. So for that I am going to click on select file. Here I can click on the uh, excel sheet okay, and open. So when I do it will upload the data and the data that is available in the excel sheet will be automatically selected here. okay. So I'm going to select these two data and then I'm going to come down and click on add broadcast, right? That's it. So, so the broadcast is scheduled. Okay. So if you go and uh, check the scheduled broadcast here, you can see offer broadcast is scheduled for uh, 5.25 PM. That's it. So at 5.25 PM automatically all the people uh, who are in the contact list will get this message. Okay. So this is how you send a WhatsApp broadcast message using software platform like Wati. Okay. So very simple process. Uh, follow it step by step and you can implement this and start running campaigns. Okay. So once again, please ensure you stick to WhatsApp's policies. I will be giving a link about, you know, uh, the best practices as to how you should send the messages. Okay. So click on the link and do check it out. I hope you found this video useful. Just in case you need any help in implementing WhatsApp marketing for your business, you can reach out to us. Just go to this link alphamarketer.in slash chat. When you visit this link, you will be welcomed by my WhatsApp chatbot. It will guide you through the whole process as to how we can work together. Now, just in case, if you want to learn WhatsApp marketing, if you are a digital marketing agency or if you are a marketing freelancer and you want to provide WhatsApp marketing services to your clients, then you can learn WhatsApp marketing from us. Even for that, very simple process. Just go to this link alphamarketer.in slash chat. Once again, you will be welcomed by my WhatsApp chatbot. It will guide you through the whole process as to how you can join our training programs. Lastly, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the like button. It will greatly motivate me to create more and more such videos. Until next time, see you. Bye bye.